I've made a bunch of Python programs. I did a Python from scratch converting decimal to binary, binary to decimal. Then I did decimal to hexadecimal. Now I want to do, no, I did hexadecimal to decimal. Now I want to do decimal to hexadecimal. So just as a super, super, super quick review, decimal numbers are base 10. So when you write a number like 342, this is the uh, hundreds place, this is the tens place, and this is the ones place. So this really means two ones, four tens, three one hundreds. Now in hexadecimal, we actually have 16 numbers. So we have 16 to the zero place, which is one, then the 16th place, and then the 16 squared place, which is 256. Now, how do you get a number in hexadecimal to decimal? It's not so hard, right? I just take the ones place, I have A, the number, if I want to convert the number one A, A is the same as 10. So I multiply that by 10, and then I have the one, the 16th place, I have one of those. So I have one times 16 plus 10 times one is 26. If I have a number like this, I have 15 ones, two 16s, and 10 256s. I add all those up, look at that. But how do you go the other way? How do you take um, a number like 26 and get to 1a? How do you do that? We're gonna do uh, the method called successive division. Successive division. So here's how, the, how it's going to work. I'm using base 16. So I'm going to take 26 and I'm going to divide by 16. And I don't want to write that as a fraction or decimal. I want to write that as a, as a value plus a remainder. So this goes, 16 goes into 26 one time. And it has a remainder of 10, right? 26 divided by 16 is 1. So 1 times 16 plus 10 is 26. So this is my first rightmost digit in my number. So I'm going to put that over here, 10. Now I'm going to take this, my remainder, and put it over here and divide that by 16. So what's 1 divided by 16? 0. But I have a remainder of 16. Yeah, that's right. And so how do I write that? Well, how many 16s do I need? I need one, right? That's, I'm gonna put this like this, 16. Well, it's really just one. It's one, one plus 16. So now I can convert this to a number. I have that I can just write as one, and 10, instead of 10, I'm gonna write a. So one a is the same thing. So we wanna do this in Python. I did this in Python with the binary numbers, so I'm gonna start with that, and then I'm gonna convert it and then we'll have a conversion factor uh, in, in Python. So let's jump over to Python. I'm gonna show you my, my binary program, which I already created. Uh, so here is my binary conversion program. So I take a number, 5,012, and this is my list, an empty list, I'm gonna add my values into it, okay? And this just prints the number just so we can see what it is. Now, I'm going to keep dividing stuff until it is zero. Once I divide by, divide it, that's it. I don't want to, if, if I get to zero, I'm done. I've got, I've, I've completely made the number. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do right here in line nine is to get the remainder. So I'm going to divide that by two. This for binary, I'm going to divide by two and get the remainder. And then I'm going to add that to my list. And this is a way to make sure that it adds, uh, going to the left instead of to the right. So I need to add it at the zero place. I need to add it on the left on the on the left side. And now I'm going to just take that number divide actually divide by 2 and you'll notice it's slash slash cuz that's div. It doesn't it does it drops the remainder. This is mod. The percent is mod that gives you just the remainder. And then I make so now I have a new number and then I just keep doing it again and again. And then this just makes an empty string and then I add those letters from the list into a string and that's it. So let's just run this and you can see that it does work. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, well, I'll do that at the end. So we wanna convert this to uh, hexadecimal. So I'm gonna say, uh, start with the number 1a. And you'll notice that um, 1a is a string. I can't write it as a number. 10001, I can write it as a number or a string. But 1a, it has a character in there, so I have to call it, I have to call it that. And let's, call this, um, 
Oops, I messed up. Let's call this, uh, where am I going here? Oh, here I am. Let's call this B, I'm gonna change that to H, right? And D is fine, that's gonna be fine. And this is fine. Um, now, I'm gonna take the remainder, and it's gonna be H. No, it's D, D divided by two. And I need to, the remainder is fine, right? Let's just do this and not do any conversions. Wait, I'm sorry, D is the decimal number, so I want 26. I was thinking about the last program. You guys gotta stop me. I stopped myself. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did before. I'm gonna find the remainder, so I'm gonna divide by 16, and I'm gonna insert that into my list, which I'm gonna call H, uh, and then I'm gonna divide it again by 16 and just keep doing that. And then I'm gonna add it to this list, uh, and this is all fine, except I'll call this HSTR for H hexadecimal string. Uh, everything here should be fine. It's not gonna work completely right, but it actually does work quite well. Um, and this is H, and then hex, we'll call that. Let's run this, let's just see if it works. I think it will work. Okay, so it worked. It worked. It says the hex number is 110, but it's not, it's one and then the number 10. And so what we need to do is to take those tens and convert them to A's, that's all we need to do. So I could do this. Once I get down here, I'm going to insert that R. Before I insert the R, I'm actually gonna call it, I'm gonna say X equals R. And that's the number I'm gonna insert. It's gonna be called X. And, and I actually want it to be a string. Because, for reasons. Now let's just say if R equals 10, then I don't wanna insert, I don't want X to be R, I want X to equal A. And I'm gonna run it, I didn't do any other checks. I'm just gonna run it and see if that works. And then we can add all the other options in there. So 1A, it worked. Okay, if I have a number, if I have 27, it's not gonna work. Because now it went to 11. I need to convert 11 to B. So I need to put a bunch of things in here. So I'm gonna say else if R equals 11, then X equals B. Else if R equals 12, then x equals c, else if r equals 13, then x equals a, b, c, d, I'm running out of room here, uh, else if r equals 14, x equals e, else if r equals 15, x equals equals F. And let's run that. And it, so it goes up here and puts X equal to R and then it changes it um, if it's something else. One B, okay it is, it, it looks like it worked. I, I thought I should get one A, but I forgot I changed it. So it does work. So it seems like it's working. Now let's do one more thing. Python can convert a hexadecimal number into a decimal number. And let's just do that because I print up here my number and then let's convert back to a decimal number. So I'm gonna say print uh, Python decimal equals uh, int HSTR base 16. So this takes that string HTSR and it prints it in base 16, which is hexadecimal. And that way we can check if it's working. And then we're gonna change it to something crazy. Okay, so 27 is 1B, and then I convert it back. So these two numbers are the same, so it works. Now we can just do something crazy. Well, we did this one already. Well, I did it, let's just do 273. I'm just gonna add some numbers in there. And so that is AAC, and then if you convert it back, you get back there again. Boom, it works. Decimal the hexadecimal conversions save. And I'll put the link to that code down below and you can do whatever you want with it. You know, if you wanna add in error checking to make sure it's an actual number, if you wanna add a user input and make it all fancy, do whatever you want. 
And there you go.